So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover the lab data is data flow quick start python so first of all click on start lab now open cloud console incognito window in case you haven't subscribed to the channel do subscribe it and like the video now in my case it is getting signed in automatically if it asks for username and password do check the lab instruction so now wait now click on i understand for the task number one we have to disable the api and then re-enable the api so first of all activate the cloud shell and first we will search the api then we will set the region and zone now here type or just paste it now as you can see this is our api so just click on it now from here click on manage And just click on disable api and then click on disable now on the cloud shell session activate it so now we will set the region and now as you can see the api has been successfully disabled now click on enable to enable it now it will take some time then we will move forward to the next step so wait for the api to get enabled finally the api has been enabled now we will have to create a bucket so as you can see here we have to create a bucket so copy the name of the bucket first of all for bucket just on the search box select cloud storage and then we will create the bucket so now click on create bucket here once you click create bucket you will have to enter the name sometimes you can name anything like any value but in this lab we have to enter the name present on the lab instruction so make sure there is no any extra space and copy carefully copy carefully guys so finally paste here now sometimes it asks to update the region but for this lab we will be using multi-region as you can see it's multi-region and location type is us now click on create and then click on confirm so finally after a few seconds the bucket will be created and as you can see our bucket is now ready now close this unwanted pop-up now we will move forward to the lab instruction and hit check my progress for this task and you will get the score without any issue now we have to install a patch beam sdk for python so for that you need to activate the cloud shell in case you haven't or just move to the cloud shell session which we just initiated from the first step so now wait for these to execute now after that we will install a patch beam finally download has been completed and the newer image for python 3.9 is available now we will execute the next command as you can see we copied earlier in case you haven't just copied from here now we will activate the word quant dot py file so for that copy it and we will run on the cloud shell so wait for this command to execute from here we have to update the bucket here so for that you can use only your line notepad or your personal notepad now we have to replace the bucket team in case you haven't saved it just select from here and replace from here to here so i will show you how you will make error in this task so once we done we will get an error so don't worry let me show you how you will get the error so as you can see now we will run it so we will get an error that bucket is not found so why it's happening let me show you because we make one mistake that is a very basic mistake that the bucket was added a white space that 
we need to fix it because there need not to be any extra space just after the gsutil command so for that now we will run the word count file so wait for it to complete can see the data flow job is running so in case you want to know how to navigate just follow the step i showed if you didn't saw then just type on the search box data flow and click on work data flow jobs so wait for the job to complete for 5 to 10 minutes and we will hit check my progress as you can see we got the succeeded message after 5.25 second so as you can see we got the score in case you didn't get do let me know in the comments do like share and subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next one so finally we got the score and that's how we have to complete this lab bye guys